my goodness, I have changed a lot since I started this channel. This is a deconstructing junk journal. Deconstructing evangelicalism. If that comes as a surprise to you, you have not spent much time on my channel in the past while. Um, because I've got such videos like here and here. And I've got some much more to come. <laughs> so, yes. I'll go ahead and read a poem. Here's the pictures. I thought surrender was meant to be beautiful to a caring God, it was, but it was preached from abusive pulpits. It meant surrender your body to the system, surrender your emotions for the sake of male sin. Exhausted with the labor of never being enough, you'll finally get that rest in heaven. That glory heart will understand it all mattered. Well done, good and faithful servant will be the reward. All that surrendered is not representative of a caring God. It's time to defy the lies. I didn't say it was all good poetry, but it's just a lot of thoughts. Pat answers and blanket statements full of holes. It's a hundred years old, moth-eaten. It doesn't comfort, it's heavy and suffocating. The words are empty, loveless, thoughtless, just like the God you've decorated in your mind of white Jesus. He's the puppet who works in mysterious ways to silence victims, promote abusers, and keep the machines running, giving wisdom to production, strength to weary workers, and new cars to the pastors. But keep saying the same thing to the people who get free. Try and tell them to go back into hiding. Say you love them, you just don't agree. Take those out of context verses. Use them as an excuse to hurt and exclude. It's what your lowercase g God wants you to do. Onward Christian soldier, on the straight and narrow, so sure of who's going to hell. Hmm, <laughs> this is an interesting bit. Mindset is cultural conditioning. It's dysfunctional to look forward or behind. And I know I spend a lot of time looking behind, but I still have so much like anger for people who are hurt, you know? People who are trapped. You read a twisted book, preach radical exclusion, sacrifice your gay children, teach women their worthiness to cook and clean, live and die for the empire, hard locked up hearts filled with the theater of church. You say you love Jesus and that love transforms. I only see your religion oppressing, suppressing. I only see death in your words and gaze. Your hard heart shows no evidence of this Jesus. Inundated generation, propaganda preschool, raised in absolutes, adolescence in questions, old and resolutes, American identity, duty and pride, freedom and rights, born to be exploited, raised to fight for the money of the big guys. God didn't bless America to drop bombs, to light up people in electric chairs, to build empires on the backs of stolen people on stolen land. That country isn't, tis of thee. It sure doesn't boast liberty. It's not all bitter, angry poetry. I want to share a different, a little bit different one. <laughs> Words can become small through culture, perception, and it's not as if the word isn't true, but the meaning is more mystical and simple than our unopened minds can accept. God is a word that has an English-speaking world connection. 
Love is a word with romantic family, hobby, and pleasure connection. There are answers we can't get because we haven't learned the language well enough to ask the questions. Concepts where language defeats the question. Where the moment of hope and longing, the, the awareness of the transcendence, the longing is love and God, unboxed and close. The curiosity and desire to connect is more of God than most of religion. So yeah, it's not really poems, it's more like thoughts. Anyone else out there doing some serious deconstructing of their life and everything else? It has been a couple of years. Reading, connecting with people, conversations on this channel have helped me so much. Especially talking to Zach Hunt, the author of Unraptured. Oh, that was such a good book, and that was such a good conversation. Where is it? Ha! How end times theology gets it wrong. That was just one of the things that I have deconstructed, and just purity culture. So much fear, so much feeling of, of a lack of value. I was angry and sad for a while and because of people like Zach and Shane Claiborne and David Hayward aka the Naked Pastor and David Hoffman and people that are believers, people that aren't showing me a better side of humanity that I'd rather be a part of. I know I'm just going to keep writing. Not dwell on the past to the point of it hurting, but just kind of deal with the past because I need to because I have some very strong reactions to things. So I know that there's still a lot of work to be done inside of this brain. This traumatized, tired, deconstructing brain. It's a process. But thank you for listening. Thank you for just being a friend and caring. I hope you enjoyed my my art. My artsy fartsy art. Emphasis on the fart. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself for that one. I'm not going to lie. Hugs! And Masters of Dance.